OK, thank you, Matt. Well, heavy rain during monsoon causes streets to flood, but there may be a way to protect your home. News 4 Tucson Sarah Herrera found out more about curb cutting and the pushback some city officials have. Curb cuts enable stormwater to drain off the street and into the dirt. We already are seeing more frequent large storms. So why not put that water to um, get it to work for us um, as a positive rather than a negative? The city allows them in neighborhoods as long as the water benefits public property. Private developers hoping to take advantage of curb cutting face resistance by the city. Because there's a liability. They say that people downstream have rights to the water, uh, which is just ludicrous. And they say that there's a gift clause thing, that we can't give the private, uh, some private person this public good. Colby lives in the Rincon Heights neighborhood and says curb cuts haven't necessarily helped with flooding, but have made a difference in other ways. Yeah, you know, I think there's a lot of research that shows that um, trees in particular, but just native vegetation adds uh, property value and like I said, just helps with traffic calming and make it more comfortable for the folks of the residents in the neighborhood to be able to walk and bike to there. The topic was discussed in Tuesday's city council meeting. We don't have major stormwater infrastructure like they do back east and in the Midwest because we get the monsoons for you know a month a year. So we're not going to make that investment, but we can certainly encourage this and 